Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned, I'm going to open up these Measure Schmidt KR200 kits, compare what's different about them, and uh, just let you see. I want to see what's in here and let you guys see what's in, in both of them. Um, as I mentioned, this is a 1984 edition of this kit. It is uh, very cool, but they're kind of expensive. Um, this one sold for $29.95 a long time ago. I don't know how old that sticker is, but it was an expensive kit. This one, however, has, seems like it has a lot less in it, and it was just about the same money, uh, maybe $20 cheaper. So let's get them opened and see what's in here. So this guy has been waiting since 1984 for me to open it. Made and printed in Japan. Um, so let's do so. So let's do so. Man, Matthew, you do that like there is, you don't have any remorse anymore about opening up old kits. Ah, look at that. Boy, that's some really nice sounding plastic too. All right, there it is. Been on there since 84. All right, so we'll get this top open. Oh, pretty. Never seen the light of day before. That is something. Hey, it's a brochure of the Measuresmith. Sort of. It's sort of like where decals go. That's a cool little car. Contents. Etching parts. This has etched parts. It has um, a few metal parts. And then this kit. I have had this one open because it was already, already open. This kit is very basic as far as the contents. It has a little chrome tree right there. And it's got the, that's it. So you, your canopy is it's clear. It's got and some plastic parts, parts. They really gouged the heck out of you on the prices on that one. This one has the seal of approval from uh, whatever this person's name is on that shift. They said everything's in the box, Matthew. Here's some uh, photo etch. Cool chrome photo etch parts and em emblems chrome tree with some wire got some wire inside it for detailing see if the chrome trees are the same they do look similar yep pretty pretty much the uh, chrome trees I think are the same a few extra parts in the the has a few little decals in this one for the lower end kit here are the metal parts, foot pedals, some looks like some little lights. No idea what that little thing is. Oh, there's the engine. Check that out. It's it's a whole a whole uh, two cycle engine right there. Nice. Um, looks like a luggage rack, and then. A gear shifter or something like that. Okay, that's for the metal parts. And then you have the little rubber tree, which you also have here. So I've noticed these Gunsy parts, they'll have like rubber trees and they'll have other parts on there that are, that are like seals and things. They'll be made out of rubber. And this seems to have the same thing over here. This one has the tree and then the rubber tire tree is there. And this is a separate tire tree that's in here too little bitty guys little bitty tires look at that tiny little things and then for the main parts tree I don't see any difference honestly that maybe maybe the other kit also you guys are like look at the instructions dummy doesn't look like that the uh, top is made to hinge you know what it may not hinge it may be you either build it open or you build it closed here's some material it looks like for the seats or the roof or something that's pretty neat almost looks like leather 
and then a two axles. I think that, that other one has the axles as well. This is already kind of busted open. So here's your your little canopy, which you would paint the top or cover it with something. And it's shaped different on one side than the other. And it would fold open like this, like to the right from what I've seen. And here's the very simple parts tree. Man, they really gouged the heck out of you on price on this thing. I guess because it's such a unique little kit. But there's your main, there's your main, uh, little chassis thing that would sit right there and it would open like that to the side but I don't see any hinges or anything like that and uh, these two trees are as far as I can tell exactly the same except for color um, so the only difference the only thing different you're getting with the uh, fancier kit you're getting this material, looks like for the roof or the seats or something. Um, you're getting these metal parts, which is cool. You know, that's cool because you don't get those in that one. And you get these photo etch parts as, as well as that nice little paper or showing um, all about it. As far as the instructions go, see, I think it does. Oh, you know what it is? Okay, look, final assembly one. You know what I'm going to do? This is too cool. Final Assembly 2. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build both of these. And I'm going to paint them exactly the same color. And I'm going to build one, obviously, closed. And I'm going to build the other one open. With the engine and all showing. That is a cool idea, Matthew. Like it. Um, the luggage rack won't let's see okay so that is one difference obviously is no luggage rack and luggage rack that's okay most people wouldn't pay attention anyway and i, I suppose you don't have to put the luggage rack on there um i don't know if it's already drilled out like ford or whatever but if, if it is whatever um I don't see that it is. I'm looking at it and I don't see any drill holes. So, Well, kind of explains that deal. I was thinking and hoping at least that it did hinge. And it doesn't. So you can build it one way or the other. So guess what? I've got two. I'll build one open with the, the engine showing because it's got an engine. And I'll build, I'll build this one just like that. And we'll have a pair. And, it, and I'll try to sit, make them look exactly the same. If that's possible. Um, as much as possible at least. So that's cool. Alright. Well I'm glad I got to open this up and check it out. This one doesn't say like assembly 1 or assembly 2. Because this one is apparently <clears throat> excuse me, meant to be built with the deck closed. <coughs> and that's okay. I got one that you can open up excuse me that has been certified by that Japanese person right there I, I wish I could read Japanese I've got a cough <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and I've got this cool little thing that I can put up on the wall that's got all the pictures of it and this is how this one's going to look all opened up engine showing cockpit even got the little strap there's a strap that uh, when you open the open the uh, <clears throat> the door, a little limiting strap that would hold it. So anyway, very very cool. There's a picture of the real thing. Go check them out on eBay or uh, YouTube. The, the little Measuresmith KR200s. <coughs> Excuse me again. <clears throat> They're really cool. So guys, thanks for watching this quick video. Just wanted to quickly open these up, do a box opening, and kind of. I'm glad I got my mind set on what to do now. That's why I got two. Just so happened, just so happened that I was able to get two of these. 
and uh, it sounds like a fun thing to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Hobby Nut Models, the Spring Store, the Facebook group, the Patreon page if you're interested, and uh, all those are linked in the description below. And uh, I'm done here, so I'm gonna put them on the shelf for now. But there's plans for these for sure, and uh, I think this year. So you guys continue to watch, and we'll see what happens with them. All right, guys. You guys. Okay, guys. Can you say guys one more time, Matthew? Sure. You guys take care, okay? And we will see you guys on the next video.